there is a problem with your standard biceps curl workout, sure, you think you're covering all your bases when you're doing your dumbbell curls, your hammer curls, your spider curls, but none of those moves is really challenging your biceps over a full, complete range of motion. Because of that, that means you're leaving some biceps growth and gains on the table, but that's where we add an exercise to our arsenal. We're gonna introduce something called the cable biceps curl. With the cable biceps curl, we get to finally challenge the lengthened position of our biceps range of motion. It is a a great way to finish out any biceps workout and it's going to ensure that you have hit and fatigued your biceps completely. That is the ticket to arm gains. Let's get into it. So what is the actual benefit of the cable biceps curl? Well, it is filling in a critical blank that is missing from all the other curls you're doing. When we're doing our standard dumbbell curls, easy bar curls, barbell curls, no matter what you're doing, when your arms are straight at the very bottom of the curl, there is zero tension on your biceps. We can try different things to try to place tension on our biceps in that position, but it really just doesn't work effectively. And that means we're never truly challenging the lengthened position of our biceps range of motion. Challenging that lengthened position in a lot of our strength exercises is gonna be a real key mechanic for growth. So with the cable biceps curl, all we're gonna do with that cable is we're going to place our body in a position and we're gonna use the angle of tension that the cable creates to place our biceps under tension from the very start of the move. The truth is, because we're doing that, the very end of the move, we may not face as much tension, but by combining the cable biceps curl with other moves and learning the version of the cable biceps curl that we're gonna teach you today, you finally can really challenge your biceps over its full range of motion and really challenge that stretch position. And working in that stretch position is really gonna help your arms blow up. So we've got Brett here in the cable rack and understand one thing about this cable biceps curl. This is the better version of what you're gonna see a lot of people do. In general, they're gonna walk up, they're just gonna grab a handle and they're gonna do a standard curl. We're not getting anything out of the move there. We wanna take advantage of the cable curl when we go to it. So what Brett is going to do, and you can do this two hands if you have a slightly tighter cable machine. With the cable machine like this, we're gonna work off a single cable. What Brett is going to do, and his whole goal here is to set up with the cable creating tension from the start. So he's gonna grab the handle. What he's gonna do, he's gonna take a step and a half forward. Essentially, he's gonna tighten up his abs and glutes because we are doing a single arm version of this move. And then what we wanna do and what we're looking for at the start of this curl, we wanna use the cable resistance to instantly create tension. So Brett wants a little bit of an angle. He doesn't necessarily want his arms completely straight. That way the cable can pull back on it. I don't really necessarily care about your torso lean relative to the ground. I just want you to be in a comfortable position and what you wanna watch for is for this upper arm angle to have a little bit of angle with the cable. That way the cable is starting to pull you backwards. Once we're in this position, Brett needs to do one more thing. He needs to try to get his hips and shoulders square. I don't want him twisting either way. I want his abs nice and tight. He's gonna tighten up his glutes and now he's in his starting position. From here, the move becomes very simple moving only at the elbow. And it's critical to move only at the elbow when you're doing this cable biceps curl. He's going to curl the weight up, try to get a good squeeze on his biceps. What you'll notice instantly, at the very bottom, he's got a lot of challenge for his biceps. He's facing resistance. Once he gets to the top of the curl, don't feel like you have to really go through a complete range of motion because at the end of the curl, let's get to the top of the curl, Brett. At the end of the curl, the orientation of the cable resistance and his forearm is not gonna create a whole ton of challenge. So he can hold this all day. We won't make him do that, but there's not a lot of challenge for his biceps. So don't feel like you need to linger in that good squeeze position. The thing we're attacking here with this cable curl is this bottom position is that first 25 to 30% of the motion, that's where we're getting a lot of extra benefit. The other thing Brett doesn't want to do on this cable curl is he doesn't want to over exaggerate the stretch on his shoulder. So don't feel this need to get your upper arm way behind your torso as you're doing this. All that's doing is placing your shoulder in a compromised position. So just you just need a little bit of tension. Think about trying to keep your upper arm essentially in line with your torso ever so slightly behind it and then get a little bit of squeeze on your shoulder blade that way you've got some stability there that way we can go through the curl let's give them a couple of reps here 
and what Brett is feeling there at the bottom of the motion is that tension. You will never feel that in any of the other curls you're doing. So now you have a curl that's gonna finally help you create tension in that stretch position, but that doesn't mean we're gonna get rid of our other biceps training weapons. You're still gonna to wanna to do your standard dumbbell curls, your hammer curls, your preacher curls, your spider curls, get all of those in, but you wanna finish off your workouts with a move like this cable biceps curl. We're gonna essentially attack load with our first couple moves in any biceps workout, and then we can finish off by really attacking that lengthened position so that we've really challenged our biceps over the full range of motion. This is not a move that you need to do for low reps. Like any cable move, we wanna keep it a little bit high rep. So think about doing three to four sets of 12 to 15 reps, or if you wanna get a little bit more bold and challenge your biceps a little bit more, one way I like to use this is I'll do say a set of dumbbell curls at 10 to 12 reps, going a little bit heavier, and then I'll finish off by challenging that lengthened position with some of these lighter weight cable curls. That superset will really fatigue your biceps. Either way, this is another move and a great move to have in your biceps arsenal. You're finally gonna train your biceps over a complete range of motion. You will thank us when you see the gains on your arms.